short while ago, uh, Vice President now-elect Kamala Harris sent this tweet with the caption, We did it, with a video of her speaking to the next President of the United States. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next President of the United States. <laughs> Joe Biden is going to be the next president. Kamala Harris is going to be the next vice president, the first female vice president, and the first uh, person of color to be a vice president of the United States. A remarkable background, Jamaican father, uh, Indian mother. They both immigrated to California, and she was born in California, became attorney general of California, senator from California, and now uh, vice president-elect of the United States. Laura Trevelyan is in Black Lives Matter Plaza. It is right outside the White House in Washington. Laura, I know that you have lots of barricades between you and the White House. Are you getting any sense at all of what's going on inside those barricades and inside the White House? I know they're celebrating like crazy out where you are. Have you heard anything about what's going on inside the White House and the campaign? I can barely hear anything at all, Cassie. <laughs> But I can tell we'll you just exactly talk. what's happening within the six inches of six inches around me, which is wild, wild celebrations. People crying, people singing, horns honking, champagne corks flying, people trying to scale the fence to celebrate the fact that Donald Trump is going to be leaving the White House. And joining me now are two people who voted. Uh, I've got here um, Lauren Maley and Matt Clinton. Lauren, tell me, how are you feeling at this moment? Well, part of me is a little bit sad that so many people did vote for Trump, but mostly it's just relief that now we have a chance to try to repair the damage that's happened over the last four years. And Matt, how about you? How are you feeling? Pretty much the same. Just a, a sense of relief that we can finally move on from four years of Trump. But again, like Lauren said, like, I don't know how 70 million people voted for Donald Trump. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I'm excited to be able to kind of move on from the past four years. What is it that you hope Joe Biden is going to bring to the presidency, Lauren? I'm just hoping that we can finally start um, getting people on the same page about like the fact that all of this, all, so many people believe that there was fraud in our system when there's clearly been proven to be like no fraud. So I just, I'm hoping that there's like an education of people who are so completely split and polarized and we can maybe all finally get to the same page. And Matt, do you think now that Joe Biden has won the election, that all the talk about electoral fraud and lawsuits will recede a bit into the background? If I mean, if we've learned anything from Donald Trump, it's that he's not going to give up from this. He's going to push this fraud issue as hard as he can, but he has no basis for it. I mean, there's been literally no evidence that any fraud has taken place anywhere, and I think that the legal system will show that. Um, so I, I'm hoping that our institutions can kind of prevent any true issues from coming up, but... I don't think he'll just let it go, but we, we know that Joe Biden is the winner. Matt and Lauren, thank you both so much for joining us. Appreciate your time thank very you. much. Thank you. So there you go, two relieved and happy Joe Biden supporters who are just hoping, Patty, that Donald Trump will accept the results.